In our previous lecture, we explored the fundamental concepts of stream processing and got a glimpse of Apache Flink. Today, we're diving even deeper into the world of Flink. We'll unravel how Flink tackles the intricate challenges of distributed and fault-tolerant stream processing. Our journey is anchored in two core concepts, the data flow abstraction and Flink's robust snapshot mechanism. Let's start by understanding the core components of a typical Apache Flink program. The code sample you see here, built using Flink's Java-based DataStream API, embodies the essential parts of a Flink program. The DataStream API in Apache Flink serves as the foundational framework for developing Flink programs. It offers a comprehensive set of tools for building and processing data streams. Let's break down its key components and functionalities. In Flink programs, you typically start by defining a data source. This source can be connected to various external systems, but it's especially well-suited for message brokers with replayable topics, such as Apache Kafka. Flink is designed to handle message offsets or pointers that indicate which messages have been consumed. This capability is crucial for achieving reliable, at least once, and even exactly once, end-to-end -end processing guarantees. Once you have a data source in place, you can define a series of transformations on the data stream. These transformations allow you to process the incoming data. For example, you can parse raw strings and convert them into meaningful Java objects tailored to your domain. You also have the flexibility to add custom processing functions to the pipeline. These functions conform to a specific interface, enabling you to implement your own logic for data processing. Moreover, these transformations provide access to Flink's fault-tolerant state management, ensuring data consistency and reliability. Flink is built for scalability, and one of the techniques it employs is key-based partitioning. This means that you can instruct Flink to partition the data stream based on specific keys. For instance, if each event has a unique ID, Flink can extract this ID and use it to calculate a hash code. This hash code then determines which parallel Flink nodes will process the event. As a result, the incoming stream is efficiently distributed among the available servers in the cluster. After applying transformations to the data stream, you define one or more syncs to determine what happens to the results of your computations. For instance, you can write the processed data to a database to materialize the current state as a final result. Alternatively, you can choose to continue treating the data as a stream and write all updates to a message broker for further downstream processing. Flink's Data Stream API allows you to inject your custom business logic into the processing pipeline, giving you control over how data is handled. Additionally, Flink provides a wide range of utility functions out of the box, simplifying tasks like working with time windows, performing aggregations, and executing other essential transformations on your data stream. When you run your Flink program, the binary of your program, jar file, is distributed to all nodes in the Flink cluster. Each node knows how to execute the specified business logic. Flink then converts the chain of transformations defined using the data stream API into an internal data structure known as the streaming data flow. This internal structure represents the precise order of operations that will be applied to the incoming data. It also determines how these operations will be distributed across available physical resources based on the requested level of parallelism. In summary, the data stream API in Apache Flink is a versatile tool for building data stream processing applications. It offers flexibility, fault tolerance, scalability, and ease of customization, making it a powerful choice for real-time data processing tasks. In Apache Flink, parallel data flows are the backbone of high-performance stream processing. Let's explore how this parallelism works and how data flows within Flink. In Flink, data streams are divided into stream partitions, which are independent segments of the stream processed separately. Within each operator, there are multiple operator subtasks running independently, possibly on different machines or threads. The number of subtasks defines an operator's parallelism level, and different operators within the same program can have varying levels of parallelism. 
Now let's dive into the different data flow patterns. One-to-one -one streams maintain the order and partitioning of elements, ensuring consistent processing. On the other hand, redistributing streams change data partitioning, allowing for various transformations. However, ordering is preserved only within specific subtask pairs.